Can you treat speak anxiety with NLP? You probably already heard about NLP, the Neuro Linguistic Programming, developed by John Grinder and Richard Bandler, which is quite famous for its huge healing promises. If you meet somebody practicing NLP, it's not seldom that he says, I can heal every phobia within one session. Maybe you give me one hour and I take away every phobia. And scientists wanted to know if this really works and therefore they conducted a study in which they used a technique proposed by Richard Bandler. And it worked the following way. First of all, the patient was told, please remember a situation in which you felt really competent. For example, um, a situation in which a problem had to be solved and you were the person who solved the problem. So please take this uh, emotion of competence. And while the patient felt this emotion, the therapist tapped on his shoulder to anchor the feeling. And in the next step, the patient was told, okay, now please take a situation from your childhood, which might be a reason for your speech anxiety and for example in my case it would be a situation from uh, school time I suggest it was about seventh grade I had to give a really short speech in front of the classroom but it was really so bad and I, I can understand why the teacher after a while said well that was nothing um, please sit down and he was right, I was really bad, but, but of course this situation felt really bad. And in the study, um, the patients were told to take such a memory and to watch it like a movie. And while they were seeing themselves on the movie screen, the therapist again and again tapped them on their shoulder to evoke the feeling of competence. So it was some kind of counter conditioning with the goal to beat the feeling of anxiety and awkwardness uh, with competence. In order to find out whether this really works, of course, the scientists also had two other groups. One waitlist control group in which um, participants only took the same tests but were not treated and another group in which they practiced progressive muscle relaxation you know that probably you take uh, your muscles and you become really tense and then you relax and after you relax you will feel that your body really feels much more uh, calm and relaxed and in this group the participants were told okay imagine a situation in which you have to give a speech and of course, for people who have speaking anxiety, this already creates fear. But they were told whenever the fear comes, you can relax it away with the technique we just practiced with progressive muscle relaxation. So also some kind of counter conditioning. So what were the results of this study? It turned out that all three groups did not differ significantly. So the NLP technique was not superior. And if you take a look at the data, the tendency was that maybe the progressive muscle relaxation was a little bit more effective. But as I said, there was no significant difference. And even in comparison to the waitlist control group, there was no difference. So what this study tells us that sometimes the claims of NLP are much stronger than what could be shown in reality. And you also have to keep in mind that nowadays there are much more effective uh, therapy methods um, for social phobia than, for example, progressive muscle relaxation. Um, for example, take metacognitive therapy in which you are, you are trained to focus your attention on the outside because this is one of the biggest problems in social anxiety that the people are caught in their own heads and they are frequently focused on how am I presenting myself right now? How uh, do I feel right now? Does the other person realize how I feel right now? Do I, uh, are my hair okay? All this self-focused uh, attention has to be redirected on the outside. And as soon as you succeed in 
redirect your attention on the outside, a lot of pressure, a lot of weight goes away and you are actually more able to focus on the interaction, on what you are willing to say and um, you will feel that all of a sudden that your brain begins to work much better than before because before you, you lost so much resources because of focusing on yourself. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this episode and if you want, we will see you next time.